Review the order to make sure you have received all of the equipment and media necessary for the sampling project. You should have received, along with their associated accessories, one, correct quantity of assay 580 passive monitoring badges, one blank and one for each sampling zone is required. Two, correct quantity of stainless canisters and integrated regulators, one of each for every sampling zone is required. Three, correct quantity of Gill Air Plus pumps with PEM samplers. Four, a multi-ray gas monitor or equivalent carbon monoxide monitor. Five, correct amount of air sampling pumps for the 10 target compound sampling and the correct amount of thermal desorption tubes and pre-labeled sample return box. Six, the correct amount of tripods with trays, one for each sampling zone. To begin, in each sampling zone, set up the tripod by placing each tube in the coinciding part and tightening the turn screws. Place the tray on top and install the pin. Notice, in order to successfully complete this sampling event, you must set up your PEM-10 sampler first and finish this sampling last. Remove the Gill Air Plus pump from the case. Remove the PEM sampler from the resealable bag and remove the custody seal along with the red protective caps. Connect the silver connector to the open end of the tubing and turn the pump on by pressing the check mark power button on the pump. You will see that the flow set is reading 4000. This indicates a 4 LPM flow rate. Using the up down arrow buttons, select the run option and click the check power button again. Locate the assay 580 badge and remove it from the pouch and discard the pouch completely. Remove the monitor covers by lifting the outer cover from the end opposite the collar clip. Be sure that sampling holes are visible. Do not remove the internal cover. Remove both covers for a four hour sample. Clip the badge to the sampling tray. Remember, a field blank should be collected for each sample set and should accompany the person monitoring during all periods except actual sampling. For more detailed information, see our instructional video, Field Blanks. Next, set up the Minican stainless steel canister and integrated regulator for total VOC. To begin sampling, pull back on the collar of the regulator, insert the Minican fully, and release the regulator collar. Once the Minican snaps into place, the sample has started. Verify the regulator gauge is reading between 27 and 30 inches of vacuum. This vacuum will slowly decrease while sampling at variable rates. Holding the regulator and mini can at an angle, slide them onto the tray at the bottom of the regulator. For more detailed instructions on how to sample using a mini can and regulator, see our instructional video, Mini Can Sampling. Next, start the carbon monoxide monitor by pressing the mode button and releasing it when the display turns on. The instrument will go through a series of self-tests and the screen will hold on fresh air calibration. This may take several minutes. Press the Y button to start the fresh air calibration. Once the fresh air calibration is complete, the unit will automatically begin logging and concentrations will be displayed. There will be a flashing L on the display, indicating that the unit is data logging. Place the unit on the sampling tray and indicate the start time on the chain of custody. Lastly, set up the sampling pump and thermal desorption tubes. First, remove the pump from the case. Do not remove the tubing from the pump as this is where the calibration is stored. Using the provided wrench set, remove the caps from the end of the media tubes.
Do not utilize your own wrenches, as you may invalidate your sample. On each tube, you will see a notch indicating the inlet of the sampling media. Place the media into the sampling tubing with the notch pointing away from the pump. Place the pump on the sampling tray. Turn on your pump and indicate the start time on your chain of custody. All samples should run for four hours. The exception to this is the PEM-10 sample with the Gill Air Plus pump that must run an approximate four hours and 15 minutes. At the end of sampling time, you will want to leave the Gill Air Plus pump running while you pack up the rest of the equipment. Reinstall both covers on the Assay 580 badge. Place the badge in the supplied plastic vial and close the cap tightly. Use the supplied label to label your sample. Then, place the vial in the foil pouch for shipment. Disconnect the mini can and regulator. Turn off the carbon monoxide monitor by pressing and holding the mode button until the countdown ends. The data stored will be reported by SGS Galson in the same report with your analytical data. Turn off the sampling pump and record the stop time on the chain of custody. Remove the thermal desorption tubes from the tubing. Immediately seal both ends using the wrenches and original caps. Place the tubes in the provided resealable bags and wrap in brown paper. Place the thermal desorption tubes in the provided pre-labeled box. Do not send any paperwork or wrenches with these tubes. Your chain of custodies will all ship back to SGS Galson with the remainder of your samples. Once all the previous steps have been performed, it should be time to turn off the PEM-10 sampler pump. Note, verify this pump has run for a minimum of four hours and 15 minutes. Click the button that shows an arrow pointing to the left, and using the up-down arrows, select Stop. Now, recap your samples, place your sampled PEM media back into its original bag, and seal the bag. And complete the shaded portions of the chain of custody forms. It is important that you include all the information requested in order to ensure the turnaround time of your samples. For the formaldehyde badge, be sure to list your field blank. Repack all instruments, equipment, accessories, and media in their original containers and ship back to SGS Galson. Repack in the same manner you received them, reusing the shipping box and packing material. Peel the return shipping label and adhere it to the outside of the box and submit your package to the carrier for shipment. Questions? Contact SGS Galson by phone, email, or IH Live Chat. You may also access our extensive library of other helpful videos at sgsgalson.com. Thank you.